In the realm of military technology, the race for the most powerful weapons has shaped the course of history and continues to influence the geopolitical landscape today. From towering hydrogen bombs to precision-guided missiles, these weapons are not just tools of destruction, they're symbols of power, deterrence, and the darker side of human ingenuity. Imagine a weapon so powerful it can wipe entire cities off the map in seconds. Enter the hydrogen bomb or thermonuclear bomb, a marvel of modern science that taps into the same forces that power the sun. With yields that can soar to hundreds of megatons, these bombs redefine the meaning of destruction. The Soviet Union Tsar Bomba holds the title for the most powerful nuclear explosion in history, detonating with a staggering yield of 50 megatons. This single explosion could devastate an area larger than an entire city, with a fireball that could be seen from 620 miles, or 1,000 kilometers away. The Tsar Bomba was primarily a demonstration of power rather than a practical weapon, as its immense size and yield made it impractical for use in a real conflict. The chilling reality is that, should these bombs be used in conflict, the consequences would be catastrophic, far beyond the battlefield. The thermal radiation alone could cause third-degree burns over an area of 100,000 square miles, and the electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, could disrupt electronics across vast distances. In a world filled with complex warfare strategies, the U.S. developed a bomb that is simple yet devastating, the MOAB, or Massive Ordnance Air Blast. Weighing around 22,000 pounds, or 10,000 kilograms, this conventional bomb packs the punch of 11 tons of TNT. It's designed to create a massive blast radius over one mile or 1.6 kilometers, making it ideal for destroying fortified positions and troop concentrations. The bomb's design allows it to detonate just above the ground, maximizing its destructive power through a combination of shock waves and air pressure. First used in Afghanistan against ISIS in April 2017, the MOAB created a fireball visible from 30 miles or 48 kilometers away. Its effectiveness against entrenched enemies showcases a terrifyingly simple truth. Overwhelming force can shatter even the toughest defenses. When conventional bombs just won't cut it, the U.S. military turns to the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, or MOP. Weighing in at 30,000 pounds or 13,600 kilograms, this behemoth is engineered to penetrate over 60 feet or 18 meters of reinforced concrete. It's the weapon of choice for targeting underground facilities, such as nuclear silos or command bunkers, where conventional bombs would fail to reach. While it hasn't yet seen combat, the MOP serves as a powerful deterrent against states like Iran and North Korea, who may house high-value assets deep underground. The implication is clear. If you hide, we will find you. In a world where precision is paramount, the Tomahawk cruise missile stands out as a hallmark of military technology. With a reach of approximately 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers, it can be launched from ships or submarines, striking targets with pinpoint accuracy. The Tomahawk's ability to be launched from a standoff position allows it to engage high-value targets without putting its launch platforms at risk. The Tomahawk first made headlines during the Gulf War showcasing its ability to strike command centers with minimal collateral damage. In recent conflicts, it has been used against chemical weapon sites, underlying the evolving nature of modern warfare. The missile's software is updated periodically to enhance targeting capability and reduce the likelihood of collateral damage. The Tomahawk can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, making it adaptable for different mission profiles. Its flexibility allows military planners to tailor its use based on strategic needs. The AGM-86 ALCM is a nuclear-capable cruise missile that epitomizes long-range strategic bombardment. With a range exceeding 1,500 miles or 2,400 kilometers, it can deliver a W-80 nuclear warhead, offering versatility in various strategic scenarios. This capability ensures that the U.S. can maintain a credible nuclear deterrent, even against far-flung adversaries. Its low radar cross-section allows it to evade detection, enabling it to penetrate deep into enemy territory undetected. This is particularly important for strategic bombers, allowing them to launch strikes without significant risk. 
This missile remains a critical component of the U.S. nuclear triad, ensuring that the threat of nuclear retaliation looms over potential adversaries. The AGM-86 can be launched from B-52 bombers, showcasing its role in both strategic and tactical operations. The Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, revolutionized the way conventional bombs are used in warfare. By adding GPS guidance to unguided bombs, JDAMs have dramatically increased accuracy and reduced collateral damage. A JDAM can hit targets with a circular error probable, or CEP, of just 13 to 30 meters, depending on conditions. Used extensively in Iraq and Afghanistan, JDAMs have become a symbol of precision warfare, proving that smart technology can mitigate the horrors of conflict. The integration of JDAM technology allows for the conversion of standard bombs into precision-guided munitions at a fraction of the cost of developing new missiles. Newer JDAM variants, like the JDAM-ER or Extended Range, extend the bomb's range to 40 miles or 64 kilometers, allowing for safe standoff attacks against hardened targets without putting the launching aircraft in danger. The B-61 nuclear bomb is a cornerstone of U.S. nuclear deterrent strategy, offering unmatched versatility. With yields ranging from 0.3 to 340 kilotons, the B-61 can be tailored for tactical or strategic use, making it adaptable to various combat scenarios. This flexibility allows commanders to choose the appropriate yield based on the target and the desired impact. Compatible with a variety of aircraft, including the B-2 stealth bomber and NATO's dual-capable aircraft, the B-61 enhances NATO's collective defense strategy. The bomb's design also enables it to be deployed from aircraft with variable altitude, increasing its effectiveness in various operational contexts. Ongoing upgrades ensure that the B-61 remains relevant in modern warfare, with improvements in guidance systems and delivery accuracy. The KH-47M2 Kinzhal is a game-changing hypersonic missile that has raised alarms across the globe. Traveling at speeds of up to Mach 10, it can cover vast distances in mere minutes, making it incredibly difficult to intercept. The Kinzhal's high speed allows it to bypass traditional missile defense systems, posing a significant challenge for adversaries. Designed to target high-value assets like aircraft carriers and missile defense systems, the Kinzhal represents a significant threat to naval operations, potentially altering the balance of power at sea. Its ability to strike quickly and with precision makes it a potential deterrent. The Kinzhal can carry conventional or nuclear warheads, allowing it to adapt to various strategic scenarios, enhancing Russia's military capabilities. As we explore these powerful bombs and missiles, it's crucial to recognize the balance of power they represent. Each weapon carries not just the potential for destruction, but also the weight of political and military strategy. The implications of these technologies extend beyond the battlefield. They shape international relations, influence deterrent strategies, and raise profound ethical questions about the nature of warfare.